It's Jack from BT McFarland. Today we're going to go over the types of ballast that you can put on your tractor. So let's get into it. So before we start talking about the specific types of ballast, we need to learn what a ballast is and why we actually need it for our tractor. So all the tractors that we sell from Kubota and tons of other brands, the front end loader is actually strong enough that if you put a load in that front bucket without any weight on the back here, you're actually gonna lift the back tires up off your tractor and that puts you in a very dangerous position in terms of rollover and you also lose a lot of the control of your tractor once those back tires come up. So the first type of rear ballast that we're gonna look at is by far and large the most popular one that we sell here. It's gonna be a rear ballast box. So these ones, they're kind of in the mid range in terms of cost. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get basically an empty box that sits on your three point hitch, or they can also sit in a drawbar as well too. Uh, you just fill it up with either concrete, sand, my favorite is interlock bricks, cause then you can pull some in and out depending on the task that you have at hand. You'll see today a lot of other uh, ballast options, they fit right on the tires of the tractor. See those have their place too, but the rear ballast box, this one actually gives you a bit of advantage when you're using your loader as well. Because if you think of the tractor like a lever, this ballast box, it puts, it puts that weight further back off the rear of the tractor. So it acts as a leverage point for the tractor itself. So when you're using that front end loader, you do end up gaining a little bit of lift capacity when using a ballast box. The next form of ballast we're going to be talking about will be an implement on the back of your tractor. I know a lot of you guys, you might not think an implement is a form of ballast, but you do get some box scrapers or even tillers, even this backhoe here, they can potentially weigh up to a thousand pounds. This is an excellent form of ballast, much like the ballast box, it does give you that advantage that hangs off the back of the tractor. So you do get that added bonus of the leverage in your loader, a little bit more lift capacity. The only disadvantage when keeping an implement on your tractor is you might not always want that implement back there. I know if it's July, you don't necessarily want to have your snowblower on the back of your tractor to move dirt around your property and some implements too like this backhoe they do protrude pretty far off the back of your tractor so if you're trying to work in a tight space and you need a little bit more maneuverability from your tractor then having an implement back here might not be the best solution but if you already have a bunch of implements and you're constantly using your implements it's actually a good idea because then you don't need to reinvest into ballast for the back of your tractor. So the next form of ballast we're gonna be looking at is fluid in the tires. The main advantage when putting fluid in your tires is that it's a very cost-effective strategy. It's about half the price of a ballast box for a comparable size and a comparable amount of weight back there. So up, up here in Canada, we do put a substitute that is called RimGuard. It's made from beet juice. So this is very good because it doesn't freeze until about minus 35. So you'll see some su southern climates, they do put water in their tires. This is definitely a no-go in Canada as the water will freeze, turn to ice and ruin your tire. One of the main disadvantages when using beet juice is that if you do need to do any kind of tire maintenance or tire repair, that tire will be very heavy and it'll be pretty messy too. If you do slip a bead, it'll spray that fluid all over the property and it could ruin your grass or your lawn. Another thing too to note is we don't usually start putting beet juice in into about an L series and it's just because if you try and put that fluid in the tires on a BX series, the tire is actually not big enough to hold a whole lot of fluid. So you're not going to get a whole lot of weight on a BX series. So on a BX series you'd have to resort to either putting a ballast box on or some kind of implement on the rear of your tractor. So on the similar trend to fluid in the tires, we will be talking about wheel weights. This again is a very popular solution. It's gonna be significantly more costly than putting fluid in the tires, but the main advantage over it is that you can actually take off the wheel weights fairly easily. So for whatever reason, you're gonna be driving across somebody's lawn and you don't wanna rip up their, their lawn and you're done playing in the bush, you can actually take those wheel weights off with just a couple of bo a bolts so you can change the weight that's on the back of your tractor. When you use a fluid in your tires, you actually won't be able to take out that fluid very easily. So when we talk about ballast on a tractor, a lot of you guys, you might be thinking that the ballast only goes on the rear of the tractor. That's not entirely true. Like this tractor here, if you don't get a front end loader, you will need some kind of front ballast. So this tractor now, it does have a snowblower on it. And if you were to drive this tractor without any kind of front ballast, like these weights right here, uh, if you're going down the road, you can actually put the tractor again in a position where the front tires do start to slip off the ground, especially if you're trying to go up an incline on a hill. So front weight options for Kubota, this is one of the only options that you can actually put on it. Some of the bigger tractors, some of the ag tractors, they will have a three-point hitch style on the front that you can pick up a three-point hitch weight box. We don't see that until you're well over the 100 horsepower tractor. So for a tractor around 
160 horsepower, you will need to look into some front weights if you don't have the loader attached. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and if you need help with parts, service or sales, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.